What's up, guys? It's Josh from Soul Studios. And you've probably heard by now that UAD has finally released native versions of their plugins called UADX. This is one of the more interesting things I've seen in Pro Audio in a while. Because just for me personally, I had kind of stopped using UAD plugins. I'm down to just a single quad satellite. And the, the two issues I had is that really wasn't enough power to use the plugins like I wanted to. And then secondly, I'm doing a lot more mix prep on the laptop. So I like to get a basic mix going there as I'm editing, tuning vocals, etc. And it's pretty inconvenient, even as small as the satellite is, to lug that around with your laptop and your iLock key and everything else that you already have to have to work on a laptop. So this is awesome. I honestly didn't see this coming at all. When they did the tease for Spark, I wasn't really sure what to expect, but this is a nice surprise. So I want to do something kind of fun to start out with here. Just bear with me for a second, but if you've been around long enough to remember the Pro Tools days when you had TDM plugins that ran on Pro Tools cards, and then you had RTAS, which ran on your computer, there were people that swore that the two versions of the same plugin did not sound the same usually with people thinking that the TDM sounded better. Now, I never saw anyone do a null test or demonstrate that that was either true or false, but I thought that'd be a fun way to start out with UAD versus UADX. So I have uh, an acoustic guitar track pulled up here that's duplicated. And on the first channel, we're going to run the native version, UADX. And then on the channel right beside it. We're going to run the traditional UAD plugin running off of the quad satellite. So I'm going to hit play here and then I'll go to the EQ and flip the polarity. And if they're the same, you should hear no sound. So let's see what happens here. There you go. Completely nulls. So that's great because, of course, you wouldn't want anything to sound different if you're going back and forth between native and your UAD hardware. Let's try that again with the 1176. Completely nulls. So this is awesome. They're exactly the same. I just thought it would be worthwhile to check that out before any rumors went around on the forums <laughs> because it always seems like when you have supposedly the same version of plugin that runs either off of DSP or your computer that there are people that swear they sound different. So thankfully that's not the case here. One difference that I have noticed, which doesn't really mean much of anything, the native versions tend to be a little bit darker. I don't, I don't know why, or but you can see here the blue versus the uh, traditional UAD. It's just a little bit darker. Same thing with the LA2As. You can see the native version on top, just a little bit darker gray. Again, doesn't really uh, mean anything, but I thought it was worth pointing out. Now. The next thing I want to check out is, like I said before, one of my reasons for kind of walking away from UAD plugins before was that I just couldn't run enough and I would get into a mix and then I would go use like the SSL channel strip or the culture vulture or something. And I would hit the wall and I'd be like, you know what, I, I can't deal with this. I just got to use plugins that I know we're going to load. So take a look at my computer specs here before we get into it. My uh, trash can Mac Pro died back last summer, and it was kind of an in-between point where a lot of my favorite plugins hadn't been ported over to M1 yet. So I didn't go with an M1 Mac Mini. At the time, the Mac Studio hadn't been released yet, so it was either like the new cheese grater Mac Pro, which was too expensive for what I was looking to spend, or a Mac Mini. And so what I did was take the Intel Mac Mini and just max it out as much as I could. So you can see the specs here. This processor was as close as I could get to what I had going in the Trash Can Mac Pro. Maxed out the memory at 64 gigabytes and a one terabyte internal hard drive. So just wanted to show you the specs here before we get into seeing how much we can run natively. So I'm just gonna go through 
I took all the plugins that I had going on this mix off, except for my uh, reverbs over here, which are just some Valhalla vintage verb and a little bit of chorus. Actually, let me take this Acoustica plugin out because they're pretty CPU heavy. And just what was going on on the master bus here. This one's kind of CPU heavy, but I do kind of need to see how they're going to work in the real world. So let's go through and just start adding a ton of UAD. Let's do an LA-2A. Actually, you know what will probably help us hit the wall quicker is the Studer. So first, I'm just going to start adding a ton and see when I get the message that I've reached the limit of my quad satellite. Okay, there we go. So we hit the wall. So at about 37 Studer A800 on the quad satellite, we hit the wall. So let's get rid of all those. And as I add these in natively, you're not going to get a playback error message until you hit play. So I'm just going to add... Uh, more than what we could get away with there and hit play and see if we'll have playback without any errors. Okay, so now we are at 60. So we hit the wall at 37 on the quad satellite. We're at 60 natively. Let's set our, make sure our playback engine is as high as it can be on the buffer size. And then we're going to hit play and see if we get any playback errors. Now, keep in mind, I had to take everything off of this mix, so it's not gonna sound like it should. Uh, okay, let's add 60 more and see where that gets us. That'll put us at 120. Okay, 120 native studers. Let's see what we have here. If you ever wanted to know what uh, about 20, let's see, you've got 10 studers on each kick plus 10 on the kick bus. That's uh a lot of low end rumble. Let's keep going till we hit the wall. Okay, now we're at 200. All right, still, still going at 200. Okay, now we're at 300. All right, so as you can see, a lot of the tracks in this song are stereo. So a lot of these are stereo instances. So we're in reality, we're well past 300. So I'm gonna stop here. I don't know where the limit is. And like I said before, this is not even the latest greatest computer by any means. So I think if you have a at least decent Mac mini like I have, you're gonna get at least 10 to 15 and who knows how far beyond the instances that you were getting on your quad satellite or whatever UAD hardware you had. So anyway, this is great news. This could apparently go on forever, but I will spare you that and go ahead and wrap it up here. It, this is just really a game changer for me because I have a Pro Tools HDX system, so I don't need UA interfaces to have low latency. I already have that in my Pro Tools system. So having these native versions is a really, really big deal for someone in my position. And I hope it's the same for a lot of you guys. All right. As always, I appreciate your time while you're here. Please like the video, subscribe, ring the bell. That will help the channel reach more people. Thank you so much for all your support, guys. And I will see you again soon with another video. Thanks. Yeah,